Namaste. Welcome to another episode of N5D Afterthoughts. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com. And quick shout out to all of my Patreon people. Um, I'll be giving you, and as well as everyone watching on YouTube right now, I'll be giving you guys here on YouTube a preview of what I'm going to be talking about and then I'll be exiting and continuing on with my Patreon people. But today we're going to be talking about high pitch frequencies. Now, what I ended up doing was I made a, a video called Every High Pitched Frequency from A Major to G Sharp. And it was a lot easier for me to do that than to try to show you what it sounds like. For example, today I put out a video of uh, today's high pitch frequency and today's high pitch frequency is in the key of A sharp, which is, and it's also, but that frequency is so much higher than what you can actually hear. It's so many octaves higher. So I've got the, let's see if I can get it there. Yeah. Here's the video. It starts out with A major, but then it goes into A sharp. Hopefully you can hear that. That's the high pitch fre frequency that I hear. And that's this, but many octaves higher. So it was a lot easier for me to make that video of all the high pitch frequency frequencies of what I'm actually hearing in those actual high pitches than to emulate that on the guitar. And this way on that video, it outlines exactly which key it's in. So if you're hearing a high pitch frequency, just go to that video, figure out which one it is. And then on n5d.com, I have an article that explains all the meanings of every high pitch frequency. So you don't have to be a musician anymore to find out what that high pitch frequency is and what it means. So I'm basically putting the ball in your court because they will change throughout the day as we have seen, but this one has remained constant at least until now. And what we're looking at is an A sharp, the A sharp on a guitar, <laughs> The A is the second string on a guitar, so that would be this string right here. And then the first fret on the second string right here is the A sharp. So you have the A and then the A sharp. And the next fret up would be the B. So you got the A, A sharp, and B. So the A sharp is a cusp. It's in between the A and the B. So it has both of those energies. It's like being a, a cusp. If you're born on the 18th, 19th, 20th, you're cusping the next astrological sign. So you've got both of those energies. I'm a triple Libra, but yet I'm cusping Scorpio. So even though I'm a triple Libra, Libra, I still have some Scorpio energies. No different. So today we're looking at A sharp, and it could be any day, any given day and any given note. And what you want to do with that, the A sharp, like I said, it's a cusp between the A, which is the third eye, and the B, which is the crown chakra. So what's going to happen, and you'll probably notice this, you might have like a slight headache going on. Something, some things are going on in the head. These are upper level chakras in the head. Uh, maybe uh, you might get clarity on something because of the third eye and the crown chakra and getting this divine inflow. Or you might be just simply getting upgraded, cleansed, or transmuted through these chakras that are receiving this beneficial help from these high-pitched frequencies. Let's see, what else do we have here for you guys? Oh yeah, there was one thing too. When I got these frequencies today, it was predominantly the right side. And what we know through QHHT, 
you know, the practitioner, the QHHT practitioners all know that anything on the right side is your current life and anything on your left side is your past life. Also, the right side is the masculine, the left side is the feminine. So there's some kind of male energy in the current life that's going on with this A sharp, which covers both the third eye and the crown chakra. And just a quick shout out to everyone watching. Um, I just, today's the, se this is the, my second video I've made today um, for my Patreon people, sending out much love, light, and gratitude to everyone that's supporting on Patreon. Uh, it helps a lot and uh, actually it goes towards paying for my server. And I appreciate that. I made a video earlier today on banishing, and this is my behind the scenes video. I have some behind the scenes stuff that I'm not going to put out publicly, but I will share with the people on Patreon. It's not stuff that a lot of people necessarily need to know. It's not, I would never hold back any information from anyone um, just to put it on Patreon. I, 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 that's not my style. I don't do that. But I did do a video on banishing. Um, I've had some experiences and I've never used this but one other time before, but I have this book. It's uh, written by a high Wicca priestess, Deborah Blake. It's called Everyday Witch A to Z, and it has some really interesting uh, spells in, in there. And I only used one previously, and I explained that on my video and with whom I used it with. But... um. Yeah, this is something that I ended up using yesterday, last night, maybe around eight o'clock or so. And what happened was, you know, I, I was basically banishing anyone that is blocking me because I've had all these blocks coming at me and I figured, okay, well, maybe someone's putting like a spell or a hex or something. There was some juju that was going on there. And I couldn't figure out exactly what it was. So I said, what the heck, I'll try this banishing ritual. And there was a couple that I did and I explained that, both of them in that video. But when I woke up today, I got three messages, less than 24 hours. One was from a person named Na Me, Na Me. And she said, this is the first time, She said that this is the first time she's seen any of my posts in weeks on Facebook. And then another one, uh, Marcy Baker said, Yay, happy to see this post in my newsfeed without having to go directly to your page. And then right before I shot this video, I got a third confirmation from someone who said, uh, Diane Weston Argabright, who said, Glad you're back on Facebook, which is funny because I never left Facebook been posting every day, every day, 365 days a year since 2009, but yet people weren't seeing them. So there was some kind of blockage that was going on. So I did this banishing ritual and people are all of a sudden seeing my posts. So it's very powerful. Like any Wicca magic, white, white magic, only use it in the highest good. Uh, in the vibration of truth, love, and light. Never do anything intentional that would intentionally hurt anyone. Um, I explain a little bit more about this. And also, before you do it, always put that shield of white light around you. But in that video on Patreon, I explain a lot more and I go into a lot more depth. But it was really fascinating. I thought I'd bring that guy, that, that up to you guys. Uh, so... I think that's about all I, I'm going to be covering here. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to say, too. Um, and I'm not sure if this is in association with the high-pitched frequencies, but last night I had this dream where I could fly, not only myself, but I was the first one to fly, and then all these other people started flying around after me, and I'll be explaining a little bit more about that in the Patreon video. So to everyone from YouTube, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to check out those articles on the high-pitched frequencies, especially that video 
that contains all of the high pitch frequencies and that way you'll be able to figure out exactly which ones that you are hearing and then check out the article and see what each one of those high pitch frequencies that you hear see what they mean so i'm going to leave it off at that sending you all infinite love and light on youtube this is greg from in5d peace